Boom! What's going on everybody? I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'm opening the warehouse doors on another episode of Toy Talk. I've got an awesome mural truck for you today. I know that fleet trucks aren't what most collectors go for, but you're missing out, as there have been so many cool fleet trucks that have been made that will really enhance our collections. Quest Trucking was founded with the vision of becoming the best-in-class carrier, and today, that vision is alive and well. Quest is based out of Atlanta, Georgia, and they carry dry and refrigerated freight coast to coast. Quest has trailers with purpose in their fleet to show support and honor our heroes. The trailers are, the first one being Real Heroes. That was their first trailer design and it is an homage to the many of America's most iconic symbols, including the inaugural words of the Declaration of Independence, the Bald Eagle, the Statue of Liberty, the Marine Corps War Memorial, and representations from all branches of the military. The second trailer they have is the POW MIA trailer. Their POW MIA design pays respect to all those prisoners of war and those declared missing in action. By bringing awareness to these service members and their sacrifices, we hope to be true to our proclamation that they will never be forgotten. Next trailer they have is Faces of Freedom. The soldiers featured on our Faces of Freedom design are members of our community who served during the conflicts named. These individuals and their families were gracious enough to provide their images and allow us to use them. The next trailer they have is called Fallen Valor. It's featuring a somber image from the Normandy American Cemetery and a folded flag. Our Fallen Valor design honors all service members who've been killed in action. The next trailer is Honoring Women and it features the iconic Rosie the Riveter, and it's one of their latest designs, and it honors women who've served in the armed forces, made wartime contributions outside of the military, and of course, those who've supported so many military families through the generations. The last trailer they have is called Pearl Harbor, and it features a prominent Uncle Sam depiction and their Pearl Harbor design visualizes aircraft carriers in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, along with President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's notable quote, a date that will live in infamy, referring to December 7th, 1941. And here it is, guys. This is the DCP by First Gear, Quest Truckings, Freightliner Cascadia, the new style 2018 Cascadia, with Thermo King Reefer Van Trailer, this is Wabash Van Trailer that they have come out with. It comes in their standard DCP box that is the window box with the two piece blister. It is item number 60 0835 and it's for Quest Trucking. It is a beautiful mural truck back of their packaging <laughs> haven't shown it in a while it says open road sold separately built on tradition powered by precision now that's dcp and that was the uh, packaging that came out right before first gear acquired dcp anyway now let's go on and open him up and these two-piece blisters are taped together as usual and behind it, you'll see it has that mural piece. And that mural piece is actually there just to make it look like it's not a just a solid piece of brown cardboard. Wouldn't that be boring? But it gives it a real nice look to it. Now, I've also gone on and cut the tape already on this guy to make it easier to open up. Before we open it, I want to show you all. It has up here in this corner, right up here, you can see it's got two sets of hood minders, mirrors, and another set of door mirrors. Now we'll open it up. Just take this on out of there and set this aside and set the tractor aside. And we'll get this blister out of the way there. 
Now let's set the trailer up towards the front and the tractor to the back. And I'm going to start off with the trailer. <laughs> Not just because I always start off with the trailer, but mainly because that's the beautiful part of this truck. That gorgeous mural that's painted down the side. And it is a silk screen printing on the side in four colors. So it gives a full color look. Even shows off what looks like gradients. It's really cool in the sky. You can see the P-51s fly in there, and you can see Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> she was an icon in the World War II and put the women right to work building the machines of war and keeping them going. And talk about a real revolution for women. This was for honoring the women. That's what this trailer's for. I talked about earlier all the trailers they had, but this is the one that DCP has made. It'd be so nice if we could get them to... Uh, make all six trailers so guys go on and tell dcp you'd love to get them because they would make a real great addition to our collections and it has the side skirts down here they are also a die cast metal part as is the rest of the trailer with a few plastic pieces you can see dot striping the turn signal upper roof clearance lights up there that beautiful mural down the uh sides of the trailer which has got the uh, rib detail for a reefer trailer underneath it's got the standard dcp style landing gear the fuel tank for the reefer which is between the skirts on this guy instead of over to the side i bet that's fun to refuel rides on uh, duels instead of super singles and their soft rubber tire on 10 hole chrome wheels it's got br uh, brake canisters on the axles and suspension detail on the tandems. Behind the tandems, it's got the uh, plain old black mud flaps with nothing on them. It's got a kingpin for DCP and first gear trucks. It has die cast promotions made in China cast in. And there is a date tampoed on there of 169 of 20, the 169th day of 20. He used white. <laughs> They used a real light gray tampo on a silver base. Isn't that great? The Wabash trailer. It's got the Wabash rear bumper. The cam lock's there. And the locks are tampoed on the door. You can see the Quest logo tampoed on the back door. The Wabash Duraplate uh, logo tampoed there. It's got the dual round brake lights with the bumpers tampoed that are in between instead of on the outside like the utilities have. You can see the tampos for the hinges and the roof lights are up there. Opened up and you can see a great big empty. It's got the insulated floor, insulated walls, and the steel skid plate that goes right down that, that is the Dura plates. That makes it a wall bash Dura plate. Up on top, it's just a silver trailer silver roof and then we get over to the passenger side and you see that mural again but it's not mirrored it's got the quest the rosie the river at the front just like it is on the other side so they just didn't mirror image it they actually changed the image and you can see the other side of the planes this time pretty cool how they did that it's got the standard screw down landing gear and around to the front it has the chrome corners on both sides and a Thermo King reefer unit with a big TK up there. This is the newer style Thermo King that reefer that they have a tooling for. Underneath it, very hard to see, but the uh, hookups for your airlines and your electric lines are right there. And it has the Quest logo tampoed right there on the front of the reefer unit. Actually, that is not a tampo, that is a decal on the front of this trailer. Now let's go on and set him aside, and to do that we'll screw down the landing gear so the trailer sits flat. After all, we really don't, you wouldn't uh, unhitch and just drop it down, would you? You're going to set the landing gear and do it right. And it's a simple, just a little bit, a couple of screws. Twist to the screws and they go right down. No big deal. There. That's that trailer setting up. 
And now let's take a look at this beautiful, beautiful tractor. Quest runs a bright red paint job, and then they've got the black skirts on this truck and the black front bumper. The hood is all red. You can see the big Quest logo there, and then the rubber uh, painted on the end of the fairings. It's got the window painted over on the sleeper door so that this one doesn't have the actual window in the sleeper, but it does have the upper roof sleeper there, window. And then you can also see it's got the toolbox door there, but Quest put the ICC, KYU, US DOT, and VIN numbers on the door instead of over here. Most commonly it's put back here, but these guys put it up on the door. The Quest trucking logo is right there as well. Inside the cab, it is the gray interior, gray steering wheel, gray dashboard, gray seats. Very nice interior. Nothing in the sleeper, but the interior is all there for the in the front cabin. It has a hard plastic front window, but no side windows, just the upper sleeper windows. That's to have the driver running with his window rolled down. It's got the fuel cap there, chrome steps, chrome wheels front and rear with black center caps on them, black quarter fenders, and black mud flaps in the back. The mirrors are all black, and the door handle is black with this black outline with the silver actual handle. Air intake is black with a silver stripe through it, and it says Cascadia right there. Nice little tampo. There's also a truck unit number right there on the front of the hood, which is right ahead of where the minder mirrors mount. They come two in sets in the package. You have to put one of those on themselves. They don't put them on because it would cause damage in the packaging when they ship it. Round to the front, it's got individual part hard plastic ABS plastic windshield wipers. And this one has the visor. Lots of trucks today don't run the, these upper visors, but Quest is running them. And you can see the roof clearance lights are on that visor. Up on top, another Quest logo up there. The front has the chrome grill with the blacked out, uh, it has the chrome bars with the blacked out grill parts. It has the driving lights tampoed on the front bumper and individual jewel style headlights up there. The hood does open on this guy, which reveals a beautiful Detroit diesel engine, which is standard for Freightliner. Isn't that a nice engine? It shows off lots of detail, all the charge air piping, radiator, and other details to go with the engine. Very, very nice. Around on the passenger side, same details that were on the driver's side, except for it has this extra mirror above the passenger's door there, so the driver can see what's down below. And unlike most of the time where they make that mirror in chrome, this one's actually painted in black, which makes this a little bit different than most of the trucks they've done. Round to the back, you'll see it has the two work lights back here on the back of the cab the uh, chrome bar which hangs the airlines and the electric lines, a grab bar to climb up there. It has a deck plate and a set of steps. Although, getting between that fender and the, and the quarter fender, <laughs> you can't get to those steps. The fifth wheel is a uh, die cast piece and it does pivot just like it should. Also here is the brake lights with the single backup light there and the black mud flaps with DOT striping on the mounting brackets. No Quest logos on them though. Going around underneath, of course, underbody exhaust. We saw no stack there. The SRC exhaust muffler mess. The air tanks, but the def tank and the fuel tanks all there which are in chrome on this truck. The engine, the steering is positionable underneath the engine. It just, it has a little bar and there's some uh, rivet that sticks down off the bottom of the transmission there and it just clicks in place on the steering tie rod. Pretty ingenious. And it keeps the steering from just wobbling on you. You have the bottom of the engine detail with a little bit of the bottom of the transmission. Got the drive shaft leading up to the first axle and the second axle. 
air brake canisters. Well, you got half the air brake canisters, not the complete ones on this truck. And it's got a working spring suspension, which is pretty cool. Now let's go on and set this guy down and hook it up so you can see what he looks like all together. Because this is a beautiful truck. And to do that, i got to put the landing gear back up. Easy to do, just uh, screw it right back up, no problems. This landing gear that DCP came up with is pretty cool. You can tell it's it, it, they're a screw. They used a real fine thread on that screw. You can still see it, but overall it just looks like a real... It looks as close as anything that's ever been made to a real one in 64 scale. Get her all hooked up there. And there you go. That is the Freightliner Cascadia, the 2018 Cascadia with Wabash Reefer Van for Quest Trucking out of Atlanta, Georgia with one of their um, trailers that's honoring women and Rosie the Riveter mural paint scheme on it. Honor our veterans, our past, and our women with this beautiful Quest Truck Semi. I am proud to add this model to my collection and I am beyond sure that one of these would really enhance your collection greatly and it would fit right in with any Peterbilt 379 on your shelf or on your diorama. Shop for this truck and other diecast promotions trucks at farmtoysandmore.com. There is a link in the description down below. Also, I'd really, really appreciate it, and it would mean so much to me if you'd take a moment to hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button to join my YouTube family. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Steel, closing the doors on another episode of Toy Talk.